It's the magic of math here, and today we're talking linear or nonlinear as we look at graphs and equations of functions. Here's our learning objectives today. We will identify linear and nonlinear functions from equations and graphs. Here's the question I'd like you thinking about today as I go through the lesson. What strategies can you use to determine whether a function is linear or not? We're going to begin today by reviewing some vocabulary. The first word is linear function. This is a relationship between two quantities with a constant rate of change. The graph of a linear function is a line. There are two key characteristics we're going to focus on today. The first is a linear function can be written as an equation in the slope intercept form y equals m multiplied by x add b, where m is the slope of the line and b is the y-intercept of the line. Also noting that any variable in the equation will have an exponent of 1, the x or even the y. Also noting this is a graph of a non-vertical straight line. Remember, vertical lines are not functions. Now let's review the definition of nonlinear function. This is a relationship between two quantities where the ordered pairs for the relationship do not lie on a straight line when graphed. And here are some important characteristics for a nonlinear function. Noting first, the equation is not in the form y equals mx plus b. So we cannot write an equation of a nonlinear function in slope-intercept form. Second, the graph is not a straight line, noting that a variable in the equation of a nonlinear function will have an exponent other than 1. Let's practice. Here are some graphs, and we want to determine and identify whether each graph represents a linear or nonlinear function. So as I consider the first graph, I can see that there's curves here. It's an oval. Therefore, it's not a straight line, and this is a nonlinear function. Looking at the second graph, I can see that I have a straight line, and it's not vertical. So therefore, this graph represents a linear function. Now it's your turn. Here are two graphs. I want you to pause the video, identify whether each graph represents a linear or nonlinear function. Come back and hit play when you're ready. Welcome back. Let's review the solutions. So here I have a non-vertical straight line. Therefore, this is the graph of a linear function. Here I have a function that has a curve to it. It is not a straight line. Therefore, this is the graph of a nonlinear function. Now let's practice with some equations. We're asked to classify each equation as a linear or nonlinear function. Our first equation is y equals x. That has an invisible exponent of 1. It's also in the form y equals mx plus b, where m is 1 and b is 0. So y equals x is definitely a linear function. We have y equals x squared plus 3x plus 1. Seeing as this term has a variable of 2, it is going to be nonlinear. Remember, all variables must have exponents of only 1. Our third equation is y equals 2 thirds x subtract 5. This is written in slope-intercept form, where m, the slope, is 2 thirds, and b, the y-intercept, is negative 5. So therefore, that is a linear function. We also note that the exponent here is an invisible one. Our next equation has two variables that each have an exponent of 2. Therefore, it's nonlinear. And our th last equation, y equals x, we have an exponent of 3. So y equals x cubed is nonlinear. All right, your turn. Here are four equations. 
You're going to classify each as linear or nonlinear. Please hit pause. Come back to hit play when you're done. Welcome back. Let's review the solution. Our first equation here, our x term has a very, uh, exponent of 4. So therefore, seeing as that's not 1, this is a nonlinear function. Our second equation, y equals x divided by 5. So we have an invisible exponent of 1 here. And we can say that the slope of this line is 1 fifth. The y-intercept is 0. And it's a linear function. Our third equation, y equals 3 divided by x. This is not in the form y equals mx plus b because it's not slope times x. It's 3 divided by x. Therefore, because it's not in slope-intercept form, it's nonlinear. And our fourth equation, y equals 7x, our x is an exponent. Seeing as our exponent here to the variable is not 1, our variable is the exponent, that is a rule breaker and is nonlinear. And there you have it. That's how you determine if a graph or an equation is linear or nonlinear. I thank you for joining me today at The Magic of Math where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you have a great day, that you'll subscribe, and come back soon.